now let's see the pull and fetch and merge in detail okay so whenever i say pull fetch and merge these are the commands that we usually use to take the data from your remote repository or local repository so as we know that git pull is nothing but combination of fetch and merge let's see a practical example okay Let's say I have uh, one main branch, okay, uh, which is there in the remote repository, and I have two developers in the project. So two developers want to work on a project where they are going to take the code from remote repository and they want to work on their own individual task. So let's say assume that there is a branch called main branch in remote repository. For now, just assume that branch is nothing but a similar uh, kind of a folder structure, okay, within that repository. So let's say you have something called a, comma b. Comma C. There are three features are already available in this branch. Let's say this developer is taking this code to their local, and similarly, this developer is also taking their code to their local. Okay, what happens here? Also, they will have a feature called A, comma, B, and C. Developer 2 also will have A, comma, B, comma, C. Okay, let's say this developer 1 task is to uh, develop some feature called something called dev1 where he wants to add some feature called d okay what he will do in his local he is going to create something called feature branch we call that as a feature branch it's nothing but like just a name is like you know having something called feature slash let's say dev1 okay this is how actually we uh, follow the name of a particular branch to create in the developer one for creating any some features let's say assume that similarly this developer is also creating another branch here called feature slash dev2 okay basically he is trying to develop some uh, features and developer one is trying to develop some features let's assume that the developer one wants to develop a feature called d okay he wants to develop some feature called d he wants to develop some feature called d okay let's say he is taking let's say 10 days to complete his feature but this guy uh, dev2 is making some change and he is giving some feature functionality that is something called e and f okay he is giving some e and f but he is taking some within two days he is completing some e and f and also he is making some change to this e c okay so he let's say he is taking only two days this is the practical scenario which will happen in your developer life so what happens let's say he he develop uh, e and f within two days and he modified something in the feature of C and everything is tested. Now he wants to push it back to here, in the main branch. Let's assume that the C got modified in the main branch and E and F is also added. Okay, basically it won't directly go to the main branch. Basically the feature dev2 will be there in a remote repository as well. And he will first push the branch from a local repository to remote uh, feature dev from remote uh, feature dev2 to, to main branch there will be a merge request so assume that like there is no conflict so uh, the tech lead or the team lead uh, approves the merge request which means from uh, feature dev2 to main branch got merged now when this developer one after 10 days when he is trying to push his change from his local repository to remote that time he is getting conflict saying that okay a b c and d and assume that he is also having something called feature slash dev in remote okay and this got merged this got pushed okay there won't be any problem but when he is trying to merge from here to here that is where there is a merge conflict which has to be resolved so this is the typical ideal scenario how to uh, handle this is very very important because every time whenever developer try to do some changes each developer will take their own time and they will do based on their priority or based on their functionality of a particular fix or a bug or a defect whatever it is okay so in this case what we have to do is always we have to take a latest copy from the remote to the local before you try to push the code so that is how you are going to uh, you know solve the ideal scenario now let's see let's take an example whatever i mentioned i'm going to show it in the diagrammatic way let's take an example that you're working on a project with two members okay developer one developer two so there is one branch main branch in the project where every developer can able to contribute so here initial state in the main branch and local branch abc abc right here abc here abc in the developer machines as well now let's what happens here is let's say we are developing something called 
um deep this developer one is trying to develop a branch call, uh, feature called d and also uh, there is a change in c and e and f this has been pushed by developer two so developer two already pushed e and f to the remote and he made some change to c these three th changes are not there in developer one's mission but the developer one is just creating only uh, feature d now what happens here is whenever he try to push it he is getting conflicts right so in order to avoid this one what we have to do is first one is first we have to pass hit fetch what fetch will do before you push it first you have to fetch it fetch means you will get only the modified c then new e and f from main branch of remote server to your local repository but it won't get merged it will be waiting it just downloads the changes okay if you see here it will wait for merging but you will have the modified c and added e and f but your local repository still have only d okay now what you have to do is you have to merge it whenever you say merge it what it will do you will see what changes are there between your local repository and whatever was downloaded from the remote repository what happens is you can able to see okay c has been modified in the remote which is not there in your local are you able to are you good to go with that if you are okay with that then you can simply say merge it okay you can uh, if you are not touching that c then you are fine with that then you can simply approve the merge so what happens is the modified c in the main branch is also uh, is also going to merge in your local repository and also enf anyhow you are not going to have any impact with enf so you can able to merge it in your local repository now what you have to do is you have to push your changes okay in this way you won't get any conflicts here when you do merging in the remote if you do pull what happens is whenever you use pull what happens is it will take the modified c and enf and insert into your local repository as well as it will update in your uh, uh working directory in that case uh your d you, there is a problem right you will get some conflicts here so what you have to do is it will actually update uh you know main branch and also the combination will actually cause the conflicts so what you have to do here is if you guys see here from the remote to your local fetch will just simply fetch it only if you do merge only then it will get into your working directory but if you do pull it will take it from there and it will get into working directory also so that will create some problem right that is what uh this this diagram is saying see if you see in the main branch a b and modified c is there and e and f is there this e and f has been added by the developer too which is a new feature which he developed and c is also modified by him but in your local repo it is not there but whenever you say git pull you are going to get conflicts right so what you have to do here is you have to be very careful before you merge your data back uh, to your uh, local repository so in this way if you always take a clone before you do it that is how you are going to avoid this merging conflicts so as always please remember that the branch which you are going to use it for deployment in your application server or wherever you deploy it that code should be very clean all the times okay it should not be messed up by any other developers it is very very important to use the right command to deal with right uh, functionality of git